hello, this is Trends. I am Bumi Obano. I'm alone right here in the studio because I don't have Moses with me, but he's online. He's via Skype. Moses, I'm Morgan, our online producer. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. Okay, Moses, so what's trending online? I, oh, first of all, are you, are you feeling lonely there? Uh, yeah, to be honest, but uh, you know, more importantly, I know you're meeting me down here in the studio. And uh, for those of you, you know, I'm sorry, I, I, I really have to apologize because I'm sorry I couldn't be in the studio because of due to some editorial decisions. Okay. But I'm on Skype and I'm in an unknown just put it that way. Okay, so Moses, what's trending? Yeah, what's trending online? Um, a lot. It's been a very busy week um, in the past, few, the past few days on social media. But uh, notably, two major issues have been going on, as always. Now, the very first is the ongoing uh, Oscar Pistorius trial. As you guys know, the case was adjourned till Monday, the 7th of April. And, um, yeah, it was resisted. Now, what we see this week is a very emotional and a very, what I would say, um, downcast um, Oscar, as opposed, as opposed to a defending or a defensive one in the past few weeks. So now the question is, you know, um, are the judges or the jury or the general public going to fall for Oscar's emotional um, crime? That's the question. But, but he really seems to be getting the brunt and the heat of the whole trial process. And of course, secondly, is the, the Kenyan polygamous bill that will be dishing in, in a bit um, that is useful. So basically, that's what's trending. All but right. Don't forget to follow the, the conversation by sharing your views with us via um, Twitter at Timothy Trends. And you can also comment on our Facebook page at um, facebook.com slash Timothy Trends. And of course, send your pictures and video comments to the trend at timothynews.tv. So, Rony, it's over to you here. Yes, like Moses initially said, we'll be talking about the Kenya's parliamentary um, bill, the, bill um, the polygamy bill that is about to be passed. Already, the bill is proposing that men be allowed to marry as many wives as they want to without the consent of their first wife, that means the current partner that they have. The bill, still unsigned by the president, has split Kenyans into two main camps, those who support it for religious or cultural reasons, and others who say it will create unnecessary divisions and host hostilities in families, in a country where many people still live in poverty. Some even say that unchecked polygamous marriages have the potential to dramatically increase the population of the country. But Kenya isn't the only African country debating over women issues. In Namibia, wife swapping has been practiced for generations among nomadic tribes. But a legislator's call to enshrine it in the law has said more debates about women's rights and tradition in modern society. Today on the show, we look at the reactions of the women to the Kenya bill, its implication on the family unit, and ultimately the place of the African woman in a marriage. There's a lot to talk about, but first, let's take a look at this. We'll be right back. The eyes have it. Next clause. It was perhaps the most anticipated debate on the floor of the House in recent days. And when the amendments to the marriage bill were tabled for discussion, the debate did not disappoint. The marriage bill, hailed as a breakthrough for women in the institution of marriage, had proposed that for men in customary marriages to take another wife, the consent of the first wife had to be obtained. But the Committee for Justice and Legal Affairs moved amendments to remove this clause. That set the stage for a heated debate divided along gender lines. A majority of the men in the House supported this amendment with one exception. The marriages are potentially polygamous so that the wife knows that she expects potentially another wife. You know, so that any time, any time, any time a man comes with a woman, that would be assumed that that is the second or the third wife. Yeah, Dawoodi never consulted anybody. Solomon. Solomon never consulted anybody. It is the Old Testament. Who was notified when you are getting married? I, 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 we just met and fell in love and we got married. In men are jittery is because these people want to take our wealth. And it is very, very important. Very, very important. So you must inform your wife when you are going to marry a second wife. You must. Right. The female MPs would hear none of it. It is for all women in Kenya, not all women who go to church. What of those women, our mothers, and the rest who are at home, who cannot afford money to go to church? Well Does spoken. it mean we are well, going to well, favor well, men? Well spoken. Well men, spoken. men, we are not going to favor you. This 
bill is for women. We are not going to support that bill. We will shoot it down. For the sake of unity in the family and for the sake of cohesion. We know that men are afraid of women's tongues more than anything else. But at the end of the day, if you are the man of the house and you choose to bring on another party, and there may be two or three, I think it behooves you to be man enough to agree. When it was time to take a vote on the controversial amendment, female MPs staged a walkout in protest. The amendment passed. Other amendments included one that denies jilted lovers the right to seek legal redress in case of unfulfilled promises of marriage. The House also took issue with an amendment that would give powers to the Cabinet Secretary to register any type of marriage not provided for under the Act. That is exactly, there's no anything they're going to regulate. They want to, this Cabinet Secretary wants to bring gayism and lesbianism. Further changes to the bill touch on matters of religion and the institution of marriage. The marriage bill seeks to consolidate all the existing acts that touch on marriage into one law. Welcome back. What you just saw was a video that pretty much captured what is going on in Kenya right now. We heard from the men and we heard from the women. We even got to see some of them walk out. I can say that they all staged the walkouts because they were against the bill, which still got majority votes. Moses, I'm sure you have yeah. a lot to say. What, what do you have to say about that video? Exactly. You know, I find it quite interesting, you know, especially the man who was talking about all the time of King Solomon and all that. I was, I I was pretty much laughter. Yeah. You know, and, you know, the video there are men, you know, speaking in anticipation of the bill, you know, and it raises, you know, two sides or two angles were raised in my mind. Now, one is, is this bill really concerned or about preserving the Kenyan-African traditional system, or is it just another way of making marriage a man's prerogative? So basically, I'm wondering, so could this possibly set the tone of today's discussion? So, mm. yeah, I guess that's the big question in my mind going on after I saw that video. And what I didn't really get, I didn't get any logical arguments for the bill. So we had jokes about Solomon not needing the consent of his wife, but what logical arguments were there behind that? Anyway, we'll be talking about this more. But Moses, you had a picture you wanted us to talk about. Yes. Yes, um, two, about three pictures that have been on social media and Twitter to be specific. And um, now it's a lot of people, I would say, in the mood of anger, have been making caricature of the whole scenario. Now, the very first one, yes, yeah, we see um, uh, Chiponga, who, you know, who, who is a member of the Kenyan House of Assembly. Um, you know, he's, he's, been, he's, he's been made caricature of in, in the picture. And the second is where we have a man, a priest trying to get married to a man with about three wives mm. lined up. Yeah, but so, the caricature one was pretty funny because he was addressing his daughters and telling them, you know, it was almost like, well, you support yeah, the bill, but you have daughters. The house, you should you, exactly, you should expect a second or third wife. Well, wife. that was pretty funny. Okay, anyway. We're not alone in this conversation. Joining us to discuss this issue is Barista Fumi Falano. She's a gender rights activist. Thank you very much, ma'am. We mm -hmm. also have Tunji Olanipekum. He's a Nigerian journalist who supports polygamy, so he's all for the bill. <laughs> Tunji, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> and via Skype, we have Honorable Wanjiku Muhia. She's a member of the Kenyan Parliament, so you get to hear from her. She was there, and we get to hear what really happened that day. Now, you're all welcome to the program. I will start with you, Madam. We watched that video together. You were here. I want to know your thoughts on the bill exactly. What, what do you think? Yeah, thank you, Bumi. Uh, the, the bill is, uh, the, the passing of that bill is quite laughable. Mm -hmm. It is laughable in that those that brought the idea, that supported the idea, are probably ignorant of the provisions of the Constitution. And I want to believe that that bill can never metamorphose to law a law because even if it does, it's going to be struck down by a law court because it is inconsistent with the provisions of the Kenyan Constitution. And any law that is inconsistent with the provisions of the Kenyan Constitution is null and void mm. to the extent of its inconsistency. It is not just inconsistent with the provisions of the Kenyan Constitution, it is inconsistent with the provision of African Charter, which is uh, uh, also applicable in 
Kenya, enforceable and applicable in Kenya. It is... Okay, can you just briefly enlighten on, on um, us on what that African Charter African is? Charter is a, 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 an international convention okay. yeah, that is applicable uh, uh, in Africa. Yes. It's Article 3 and Article, Article 3 of African Charter stipulates that every human being shall be a... a, a treated equally before the law okay. and that the, 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 there shall be no discrimination as to sex. All right. There shall be no discrimination as to sex, color, race, etc. Now, I bring that to this bill. If we say there shall be no discrimination as to sex, if this bill is talking of polygamy, we should also have the same bill. They will be talking about polyandry. Okay, um, let me just... If a man me, is expected to bring a mother and more wife, <laughs> a woman should also... Uh, uh, yes. Okay, that is going to take us into a whole new phase of the argument. But yeah. before, before you continue, I want to... Because before the show, you were already talking about how you see... You do not see anything wrong with this bill. Yes, I do not okay. see anything wrong with this bill at all. And my question is just this. Why are the women quite afraid of this bill? Now... Barista is talking about the African Charter, the inconsistency of the law. Issues like marriage. There are some issues you don't legislate on. You hear what the man in the Parliament of Kenya said. He said, in the African society, a marriage is potentially doomed to be polygamous. There is no issue. No, I, I'm waiting now. This is it. When you talk about marriage, no, no, marriage no. has to do with... No, before you go on, there, you cannot say there are issues of human life that cannot be legislated. Legislate. It okay. is law controls the coexistence of... Now, do you know what you are trying to... If this we what you must coexist in a society... This is what you are trying to do, If man. we must live together in a society, law must guide all facets I of agree. our life. But you okay. say there is right. no aspect okay. of human you life say, you say, that should point. not be... Marriage is all Guided about by love. emotions. Otherwise, there'll be other kids. Marriage is all about love. Marriage is all about me saying, a beautiful lady, I love you, and I want to marry you. Marriage is also I, a I'm, contract. I'm coming, yes. You cannot legislate on my emotions. It's like you are telling me that there should be a time I can cry, that you say you can, I can laugh. But bear in that mind, we already have... It's love. Okay, you hold can't on. legislate on who to love but at what point in time. bear in mind that we is already... It's a contract. It's a contract. It's a legal contract. Right. contract. All right. I know. It is, you it cannot tell me who to love but and when to love. It, it goes beyond hold emotion. On. Hold it on. Is, it goes Sundi beyond emotion. Barista, please hold on. Bear in mind that already there's a legal framework for marriage. So yes. you, you have to... Most people, the court already provides that framework. And we have the marriage law. It's already legal. Yes. So you're saying that it's not legislative, um, there's no need otherwise, to debate this Otherwise, you should be free standard. to That's pick up, to run to any woman on the street and catch her because you fall in love but with the girl on the street. See, this no, because, because you, know, you are saying law should not guide you. Yes, exactly. if law should not but guide now, you. When I have, if I have a wife, mm. yeah. and along the line, some years to marriage, I met another beautiful lady, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, I love you. And we talked, and we agreed that we're going to marry her. I said, you can't legislate on my emotion. You can't legislate on who to love and at what point to love the person. All right. You will, you, you, you will also agree with and me. And that is why you say that even take, the Constitution... I also want to bring in the fact that... You want to take the issue of marriage bring in the fact out that of law. You are therefore saying that you can Barista walk up to the street and pick this. up a woman on the Barista street. Barista, she agrees. She should not say she agrees. Barista, we still address this. But I also want to look at the bill. You know, let's look at the bigger picture. The bill isn't just talking about, you know, the polygamy the polygamy clause here. And I want Honorable Wanjuku to address this. So we know that the bill, yes, we have that polygamy clause that is saying a man can marry as many wives as he wants, but we also have other things in the bill that some people feel, well, makes the bill not so bad after all. So please, can you enlighten us a bit on what this bill is and what it says and what the advantages are? Maybe before I explain, I wish to ask the journalist, I hope it is the journalist who is saying we cannot legislate on his emotions. Does he mean if he wants to kill, because maybe he's emotionally annoyed by someone, we cannot legislate such? Either way, let's go back to the point. I want to say the bill is a good bill in Kenya, because since 1979, we've never had a marriage bill in Kenya. So the judges have always been contemplating on which way, which way, and now we have the bill in place. It has good clauses, like the one which was uh, harshly 
seated between Christian and Islam about 18 years. That is a good, a good article. We also have very good issue where we have to register all marriages, regardless Islamic, Christian, customary. So the bill in totality is good. However, what we oppose in totality, like women in Kenya, is the clause that speak a man can marry the second, the third, the tenth without informing. This is, uh, we, we want to assume that this bill wants to take Kenyan women in the dark days. It wants to take us back in 18th century. We are in 21st century. Today in Kenya, men are not able already to take care of one wife. So one want to contemplate that he can bring a second, a third, a four, okay. without my knowledge. Is he right. reminding of the welfare of the family? In our constitution of Kenya, Article 45 says that every partner has equal right during marriage, even at dissolution, and even when entering at marriage. So when the man wants to contemplate that he can bring another wife without informing the first wife, is that is that constitutional? The women are denied their right. Again, right. you saw the debate. Uh, some members argued from point of ignorance because mm. you really cannot say that when you come with another woman, your wife should assume this is a second wife, another oh, okay. woman, this is a third Honorable, wife. This is Honorable, I'll come in there. Women because... have gone to school. The, the, and, and, uh, Honorable, we, thank we really you. Let me cut in there. The Tunji, you had something to say in response to that. You said the men should have their wife's consent mm. before bringing it upon. That is a matter of morality. It's a matter of judgment. It's not a matter that should be in the Constitution. If I'm to take a second wife, all I need to do is, okay, I just feel I should inform my wife or two. The question is, who is paying the expense of bringing a new wife? Who is feeding the wife? I may decide to have a consent. I may decide not to have a consent. Who do I... Based on the argument that the man is the one that economically provides for the family? Sure. So Honorable, why do you this want consent to... of a thing... Mm -hmm being an issue okay okay you know what let me let me just give and some question, arguments question, let me just give some arguments give for an and against this Hold bill on. if mm. which, which, which wife is the husband going to me that i want to bring a second wife and we accept the current partner which wife the current yes. one the first wife yes. the only wife at home at that moment, at that point if um, the husband say please uh darling i want to bring in a second wife would that wife accept but she doesn't accept. P women are saying that. That means they don't there's even no want need for that bill. The man to marry a second wife. Okay, barrister, you wanted to. So why do you yes, want to you. use the back door? Yes, let me <laughs> let me talk to uh, Mr. Olani. But when a man and a woman gets married, yes, there is partnership in the house. Yes, the home there are uh, 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 two parties in the home, equal partnership, and so a contract has been entered into. Now, if a man decides to go out to bring a top party, it's a stranger in the home because you have built a home. Going out to bring a top person, you are bringing a stranger to your home. It undermines the sanctity of that home that has been built. Then number two, there is the right to, uh, uh, the reproductive right of the woman that you are uh, uh, violating. I must have the right to decide on who shares, uh, who I have a, uh, 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 sexual relationship with. Because if you go and bring another woman, you are going to have a sexual relationship with that woman. If you bring, you come back home to have relationship with me at home, what? you are likely to transfer Okay, Madam. at this point, I want more. And that is why people have also. You will, you will. That is why people have also said that, 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 they have also said that it is an indirect way of also spreading uh, I mean, HIV. You said it is an indirect way of uh, uh, escalating population. population. It is an indirect way of destroying okay. uh, 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 the sanctity of marriage. Okay. okay. You, you I you want are, to you bring in, hold on okay. a minute, please. I want to bring in our online community because they are the reason why we even brought up this topic in the first place. So Moses, what is the online community saying? Um, a lot as usual. Now, um, it's very interesting because I've got a lot of few Twitters which just came in and um, they, have, have a, they have addressed questions to Mr. Tunji and to Ms. Fumi. Now, I'm going to start with uh, Ms. Fumi and, um, you know, there was earlier on when she said that um, this bill may never be turned into law. But on our social media platform, so many people beg to differ. 
Now, they say that in view of this bill, most people, or women inclusive, wonder why it is generating a lot of debate, because to them, it is already an extension of what has already been practiced. Now, Africa is polygamous by nature. So, Ms. Fumi, why do you think that this bill may never come to law? Because in some people's opinion, it is already in practice. A man doesn't necessarily uh, take in the consent of his wife to marry another wife. It's an, it's an African norm. So do you, do you really think that this bill stands, stands a chance? What is in practice now is uh, 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 the desire and the, 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 uh, the desire. If somebody desires to pick a wife, it is not backed up by law. What the bid seeks to bring into reality is to legalize polygamy. Now, you may desire, you may just decide on your own. You have the discretion to either go for it or you don't go for it, depending on your view. And if I am a woman, I agree with you. I can decide to go and be the second wife. But if the law, if this bill is passed into law, it goes... Uh, 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 and, uh, another length to confer legitimacy to the actions of the man. And, and so it, it becomes a legal thing to be done. Now, some people do it well because they feel they want to do it. It's a cultural, but it has no legal backing. Right. And the danger of putting upon it a legal uh, 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 stamp is because uh, it, the danger is that it, it becomes a uh, the order of the day okay. and when it becomes the order of the day when a man knows that he has the legitimate right because some are curbed they don't want to do it now because they feel the law does not support it although cultures does but the law does not support it now when they know that the law supports it they go on and on and on and so on. So to just encourage it. At this point, yes. I want us to take a break because I need to breathe a little. <laughs> but let's take a break and when we come back, we even have more things that we have to discuss. Mm -hmm.